Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of conics. And particularly if I talk about the concept that we are going to use here is the concepts of ellipse and hyperbola. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let the foci of the ellipse so for ellipse, the equation is x square over 16, y square over 7 equals 1. And for hyperbola, the equation is x square over 144 minus y square over alpha is equals to 1 over 25. So these are the two figures given to us. And we have been told that the foci of the two of them coincide with each other. Then the question is further asking us to figure out length of lattice rectum of hyperbola that is present. So for this hyperbola equation that is given to us, we have been asked to find the length of lattice rectum. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 32 over 9, second option, 18 over 5, third answer choice, 27 over 4, and the fourth answer choice we have been given is 27 over 10. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. So let's try to solve the question first. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on an everyday basis. And it is free for you and also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. So you understand them in easier way possible then. Let's see. Now if I try to solve the question, I have been given the equation of ellipse first. x square over 16, y square over 7 equals 1. So if I compare that with my general equation of ellipse, which is x square over a square, plus y square over b square equals 1. So from here what I get is a square is 16, b square is 7. So once I have a square and b square here with me, I get the eccentricity of the ellipse that is given by square root of 1 minus b square over a square. So that gives you square root of 1 minus 7 over 16. Which gives me further, if I solve it, I get 16 minus 7, basically it's 9 and divided by 16. 9 divided by 16 gives me 3 over 4. So I get the eccentricity of the ellipse and that is 3 over 4. Now once I have the eccentricity of the ellipse, I can find the foci also of the ellipse. Plus minus AE comma 0. That is basically plus minus. A I know in this case. If I have a square as 16, I take the square root on both sides, I get a is 4. And eccentricity of ellipse, I have it as 3 over 4. So that gives me the foci points as plus minus 3 comma 0. So I get my foci points of the ellipse. Now let's talk about the hyperbola. So for the hyperbola, the equation that is given to us is x square over 144 minus y square over alpha is equals to 1 over 25. So that 1 over 25 which is present, if I take it on the other side, it gives you 25 x square over 144 minus 25 y square over alpha is equal to 1. Further, if I try to simplify this, I can write as x square over 144 over 25 y square over alpha over 25 is equal to 1. So I get this. And once I get this, I get the general equation x square over a square minus y square over b square equals 1. So from here, if I compare the two of them, I get a square is 144 over 25. b square is alpha over 25. Once I have both of them with me, I can just find the eccentricity of hyperbola. That is nothing but square root of 1 plus b square over a square. So 1 plus alpha over 25 and 144 over 25. This 25 and 25 cancels and you get from here square root of 144 plus alpha divided by 144. 
I have just cross multiplied here. I have taken the denominator here for one as well as alpha to become 144. So I multiplied one with 144, that gave me 144. So I get a common denominator of 144. Now, once I take the square root of this 144, I have one over 12, square root of 144 plus alpha. So basically that becomes my eccentricity of hyperbola. Now, if I have the eccentricity of hyperbola using the same idea, I can find the foci points for the hyperbola and that is plus minus a e comma zero that gives me plus minus a in this case it's 144 over 25 which is a squared so a in this case becomes 12 over 5 and e i know from here it's 1 over 12 square root of 144 plus alpha comma zero so from here if i try to cancel out some terms i get 12 cancelled so from here, I get this foci points as plus minus square root of 144 plus alpha divided by 5 comma 0. So I have my foci points here as well. Now, the further question tells us that the two foci points which are present, they coincide with each other. So the foci of ellipse and the foci of hyperbola when they coincide means basically they have to be equal to each other. So I see here. This is your x coordinate of foci of ellipse, which is 3. And this is your x coordinate of foci of hyperbola, which is the entire expression. So I know if the points coincide, means the x coordinates have to be equal as well as the y coordinates. So if I equate the x coordinates, which is 3, and the other one was square root of 144 plus alpha divided by 5. 5, if I take it on the other side, becomes 3 into 5, which is equal to square root of 144 plus alpha. With here, I get 15 and 144 plus alpha in the square root. Squaring both the sides gives me 225 this is 144 plus alpha. Alpha I get from here 225 minus 144. That if I solve, I get 81 as the answer for alpha. Once I get the value of alpha here, that is 81. I can put that in my equation of hyperbola. That was x squared over 144 by 25 minus y square over alpha by 25 equals 1. So from here, I can put alpha as 81 as it is. Once I put alpha as 81, my equation of hyperbola becomes x square over 144 by 25 is nothing but 12 over 5 square y square over. This becomes 81 over 25, which is 9 over 5, the whole square equals 1. So from here, I get this. A in this case is 12 over 5. B in this case is 9 over 5. So once I have A, once I have B, I have to just find length of lattice rectum of hyperbola. And when I have to find that, that basically becomes a formula 2B square over A. So 2B square, which is 9 over 5 squared divided by a which is 12 over 5. So I get in this case 2, 81, 25 and 12 over 5 comes up becomes 5 over 12. If I try to cancel this further, I get 5 ones, 5 5 times, 2 ones, 2 6 times, 3 2 times and 3 27 times. So from here you get 27 over 10 as your value of the length of lattice rectum. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, the option is D. So D becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So first I compared this equation of ellipse and hyperbola and got the foci points for both of them. Once I got the foci points, I just put and equate them together to get the value of alpha that gave me 81. Once I got that, I put that in the equation of hyperbola and from there I got length of lattice rectum which is 2b square over a. And that basically matches with option D. So D becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, 
please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on GWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.